Hello, it's Subzero Gaming, and today I'm bringing you an Armor 3 Epoch tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to add custom traders to your map on a Armor 3 Epoch server. It's actually really, really simple. You're going to need three things to do this. The first thing you're going to need is a PBO manager, and this just allows you to how Bohemia Interactive have done it is they've packed it up all into a thing called a PBO which stores it's basically a folder but really compressed and this just uncompresses it all and allows you to actually access the files so the link for this will be in the description and it's really simple you just download it click it and install and it's fine so the next thing you're going to need is notepad plus plus which is here the link also will be in the description and this allows you to actually edit the scripts that you get and the third thing you will need is a thing called n3 editor and this allows you to actually edit the map so the players can see what you've put in this little editor on the actual map and um, there's plenty of tutorials on the actual page if you look scroll through um, if you scroll to the bottom of his actual post the m3 editor zips there and there's a thing called a3 underscore epoch underscore custom this is a custom pbo that actually goes server side so it will spawn the map and you don't have to do it from the client side so it increases the fps that the clients are getting um if you open that a3 custom you'll get something like this um you have an init uh, map content a config and a pbo prefix what you need to do is you need to with the m3 editor save it as an sqf um, if you look through the tutorials there you'll see how to do that and add it to the map content uh, with the init you need to actually take that out open it and edit with a uh, notepad plus plus and line number 12 is the most important one here as you can see at the end of it it says saltstrader.sqf that's the name of the file that i have in here in the map content is exactly the same that's how it needs to be on yours so I'm not gonna mess around with that because I know it works on my server so we've got with that it, that goes into the at epoch hive add-ons and that allows the players to see the actual buildings around where the AI traders are gonna be so how to get the actual traders in you need your a3 underscore epoch underscore server settings from either your dedicated server that you're running off your computer or your host such as dtx daisy st and nitro and so many others so once you've got that you need to go into here open it with your pbo go into configs go into your maps and there'll be atlas mine's already out um depending on what map you are on you might need to like change them in that one I know if you use an atlas you're gonna to have to use the atlas one otherwise if you use the stratus one on an atlas map it's not going to work so edit the atlas.h with notepad plus plus and go scroll right the way to the bottom and you'll see static npc position um, you have trader city one trader city two trader city three you will probably have two here I believe the other four are mine and this is how simple it is but how long it took me to figure it out and um, all you have to do is get the coordinates from wherever you want them in the m3 editor there's a thing called i think it's helpers and what you can do is you can just have a little i think it's a cyan pointer which is really really small place it on where you want the ai to actually spawn copy the coordinates and make sure the height one is at the end and as you can see here they've got these numbers that's an AIZ mute and I think that is just the direction they are looking because I've looked through them and none of them seem to go higher than 360 336 and so on so that's I think that's the direction they're looking and as you can see here I've just made sure I've got a comma in there uh, a curly bracket and then a comma in the end make sure there's no comma at the end of the last one so this works um you can implement safe zones within these ones as depending on what safe zone script you're going to use 
Um, I will show you that in the next tutorial, how to edit like custom safe zones and so on. So if you found this tutorial helpful or if you've got questions, then leave a comment. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my server. The server IP is in the bottom. It's got some cool scripts in there and I might show you how to install them. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.